Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you will see there, the uh, US 30 has uh, kind of rebounded after the sell-off we had in the last week in the back of some poor results from Amazon, some other big blue weather, uh, bellwether uh, US equities. Uh, uh, potential support remains at 16.401, potential resistance remains at 16.598. Uh, but there could be some catalysts later on this week, uh, including uh, another Fed meeting we've got uh, midweek to discuss the tapering. Uh, that's expected to continue, uh, but all then also to think about US interest rates in the future. Um, if we have a look at the UK 100 as well, uh, you can see there that uh, quite a volatile session there on Friday, uh, but we've started off strongly this morning uh, by hitting potential resistance at 67.13. We need a break and close above that to be able to rechallenge 67.74. Looking at the Japanese market there, um, and actually looking at Euro at dollar yen, it's kind of grinding slightly higher. We're still in a bit of a downtrend right here. Uh, in fact, you can probably draw lines heading down here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, <clears throat> as ever, uh, this has been driven a lot by what dollar yen is doing. Uh, does look to be a downtrend in play, potential downtrend. Though we are bouncing again up that potential support at 14219. Um, this has been in play for some time. So not actually yet. Uh, you know, you can see here it's bouncing off here. Long legged candles indicates it's a buying interest. We did close below it uh, in mid April there, uh, only to, to rise above it. This level looks very strategic in the short term, so do uh, keep an eye on that. Looking at dollar yen, um, dollar yen is in the middle of range right now, it's grinding lower. Um, so potential resistance at 102 spot 87, potential support at 101 spot 80. Um, but nothing really to report there today. Looking at West Texas crude, it's still coming off some pretty savage sell-off there, on, a pretty savage sell-off, sorry, on Friday. Um, but we've had a bit of a rebound again today. Looks to be the ranges now remain at 100 spot 60 to $103. Um, crude oil inventory is obviously coming out on Wednesday. Ukraine crisis um, still not escalating that, that, that strongly, um, but that's the... Um, the fundamentals to have a look at in that instance. So gold, however, has had a bit of a shot in the arm uh, on a little bit of that uncertainty, but also a little bit of dollar weakness. I can actually see here already that GBP, USD and Euro dollar have shot up this morning. So we need to find out why that is in a second when we have a look at the economic calendar. But if you look at the real strong bounce we had there on Thursday, Friday, we're standing still today, but we're above potential resistance at 12.95. Next potential resistance is at 13.32. So it looks to be this is the level to look at in the short term as well. So economic data wise, okay, so there's nothing really that has actually come out today, but there's certainly something happened with the uh, GBP, USD and Euro dollar, as we'll have a look at right now. So uh, opening that up there, you can see we had a big spike up above 38.63. Um, next potential resistance at 39.68. This is very encouraging for a move higher if we get a close above that right now. Uh, I can see against the other FX pairs, it doesn't seem to be specific dollar weakness, um, but it's definitely something pro GBP, pro Euro that's impacting the markets right this second. Um, and if you have a look at GBP USD, we are, we are having another attempt to smash through that potential resistance at 68.20. Um, so at the time recording, this is half past 9 a.m. UK time, uh, and it looks to be that we're having a, a decent attempt to break higher in this instance right here. So that seems to be quite a strong breakout, but uh, we've had instances of this before where it's broken up and then maybe pushed right back down by the end of the session. Now, there's no US dollar specific economic data due out today. We have to fast forward to tomorrow to get some uh, UK GDP some Eurozone um, business and consumer confidence figures and then we do have CCI data so actually a fair amount of fundamentals coming out tomorrow um, and we need to have a little bit more of a look to see when Yellen is expected to speak more about uh, the tapering decision in the US which is where they expect to, con to continue and to look for some more clues as to when we are likely to see a rise in interest rates in the US. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever from um, kind of technical updates from our global analyst team and also other CMC markets clients. I can see there's quite a lot of activity on here right now. And make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what